this is David and today we're going to do that whole Mountain Dew glow stick bottle thing, right? And we're going to do this a little different. I'm not going to edit it. We're going to have the bottle. We're going to follow the bottle through the whole process, right? So that we can't adulterate or add stuff or anything. Now the reason I'm doing this video is because as you follow a lot of different prepper websites, maybe go to Pinterest, you know, people have these lists of a 30 cool prepper tricks you know and, and this Mountain Dew glow stick thing is always shown and I think it illustrates a point that, that uh, I especially through my website have, have tried to, to not do and that is read something pass it off as fact without actually trying it you know on, on the website on the YouTube channel we do lots of stuff and, and I don't try to say that anything that I'm doing is original right I, I get the ideas from many many other folks but the thing is we do it we show you doing it in the videos before we actually tell you that hey this is a good idea so I've got some Mountain Dew I drink a lot of Mountain Dew probably shouldn't that's probably why I'm a big boy and I'll drink some so you know that this is actually Mountain Dew All right, Mountain Dew. I'm going to cut the label off so you can see the uh, actual reaction, okay? And my wife is just going to follow this down to the table, okay? I've got some peroxide, got some baking soda, we have a funnel. And they tell you to put three caps full of hydrogen peroxide and about a quarter inch of Mountain Dew. One, two, three, okay? And then they say add a tablespoon of baking soda. And it's supposed to be glowing, right? It's not. We'll shake it up even though the baking soda reacted with the citric acid, kind of like vinegar and baking soda, will make a little bit of gas. It's not glowing. Why isn't it glowing? Because it's a hoax. It's fake. People cut away and drop glow stick stuff in here. And I've read that if you put the peroxide in with an actual glow stick, it will make the chemical reaction more energetic. It'll make it brighter, but it'll only last a couple of, a couple of seconds. You know, 30 seconds or so a minute till the reaction burns out. So this is a hoax, it is fake. And I wish preppers would, would stop telling people this is a good idea because all it does is show that you don't know what you're talking about. You're spreading stuff that you hadn't tried. Okay? So there you go. This isn't a good idea. And as I've said before, I don't think wax slugs are either. But that's a, that's a subject of a whole other video. So thank you very much. I hope that's useful.